is up everybody ride with will here and today was just one of those days man it was so beautiful yet cloudy with temperatures marking in the high 50s and to me that is perfect off-roading weather i had an itch to take my cb500x off-roading with reasons to do so see i bought this cb500x to do some simple forest road exploring and just enjoy colorado's back roads in comfort at least till the tenere 700 comes out <music> Also, I apologize for the audio. I'm still trying to figure out some of the mic rigs when it comes to high wind riding. I know when the wind hits the mic, it just really depreciates the audio quality. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. All right, I think I see a road right here. I'm gonna try to check out this road. Let's see. Oh, uh, this is Sky Hat, Sky Hat Ranch. No, I guess we'll look for another road. Drinking <laughs> Rocks Road. I guess we could go here. Wow, this place is freaking muddy. Look at that. So hopefully, wow, this is, looks very slick. So I decided to take a route called Painted Rocks Road right off of Willen Park. Maybe an extra 15 minutes north, I would say. I really wanted to explore this area, but unfortunately there was a lot of mud due to snow melting. If I was on my dual sport or dirt bike, it would have been a different story, but the stock tires of the CB500X does not clean mud out at all. So this is Painted Rocks Road, not the road I was looking for, but I have to be a little careful because uh, uh, this is bumpy. I'm not used to the, these tires have like no grip. So here we are, we got, we got my CV500X. We're gonna check out at this road. This is an OHV area, it's called 341. So, <laughs> it's gonna be a little interesting. Oh, and it's muddy. These tires don't do good in mud. I'm a little nervous riding in the mud. So this trail I was on was a legit OHV trail system that starts off in 341. For the CB500X, it is definitely capable of handling these mile trails. However, the biggest issue, as I mentioned before, was the stock tires. But that was not the only issue. My tread is about gone. So I'm basically riding these trails on a bald tire. Yeah, my fronts are very washy. Whew. It's a whole different story with these tires, man. <laughs> I think I might turn around. These tires do not clean mud, so it's, it's a very slick condition. And my ankles are not doing very well neither, so I fell and, you know, my fronts are pretty worn out as well, so. Let's out over here. Looks like a lot of people are shooting out here, huh? A little mischief uh, target practice. Wow, look at that mud. Definitely a lot of mud. These tires, nah, I can't go. That's pretty steep, especially for this bike. Nah, not, not until I get new tires. It's tempting to do that. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna be safe. I, you know, I don't got my Amex boost or anything. I don't want my my freaking bike to fall on my foot again or anything. So overall, I must say the CB500X does really well in its stock form when it comes to off-roading, as long as you don't mind going slow. I ended up doing a more technical trail with the CB500X, which included rocks, ruts, and some small logs, and was able to handle them pretty decent. But I will leave that video for another day. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button. 